Hey guys, Marsh Games here, and before we get into this video on how to make your own unturned server by port forwarding your computer, um, first of all, I got a second monitor. Um, I'll prove to you right now. Let me, let me see. Look at this. I'm dragging something across the screen. I have two monitors now. It's really cool. This is my video output folder, but whatever. <laughs> um, that's really cool. Thank you, uh, so much to my neighbor, uh, Joe. His TV didn't work so he's like here you can have it and I'm like what's wrong he's like well it's slow the, no, the channels work I'm like did you check your cable he's like nah <laughs> he already bought a new one which is fine so like I get this one now so thank you one more thing before we get into this video I will be gone December 8th 9th and 10th uh, I'll be gone the weekend uh, following this video including the Friday so you're probably not gonna see an unturned update video uh, when it comes out uh, Nelson brings one to us like he does every Friday um, but you'll probably see that Monday or sometime close to that. So what you want to start off by doing is go down to your search bar or um, go to your like uh, home here if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 and just search up uh, CMD you might have used before. Um, you might have not. It's your command prompt. Now you can type in a bunch of commands in here. Now what you're going to be typing in here is IP config. Now there's going to be a bunch of information here that's going to be for your use only. Um, it's probably be blocked out for you. Um, but right here where it says wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi, um, you're going to be looking for where it says default gateway. Now, I know you can't see this, um, but there's a bunch of code here. And then under this code, there's going to be a uh, like a IP. So it, it's most likely going to start with the number 10 dot something dot something dot something. I'm not going to say mine. And so, yes, yeah, so you want to memorize that and then we'll just memorize this for now. And uh, never mind, we just close it actually. There we go. If you go to Google Chrome, you're gonna type those same numbers. Uh, okay, same numbers into your uh, browser. So just dot 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 dot. There we go. And so let me just put this full screen mode. There we are. So this could take you to Xfinity. Now there's gonna be a few things blocked down here. First of all. Your Wi-Fi um, SSD, which is whatever your Wi-Fi is called, and your pass key. There's going to be home network, which is Ethernet Wi-Fi, whatever you have. There's a bunch of connected devices. So up here where it says username and password, by default, it is admin for the username and password for the password. Now, if it is changed, like you know that you have personally changed it or your parents have changed it for security reasons, make sure you ask them before you're doing this. We can log in. It might take a second. I'm not going to save... And there we are. And so it's going to pop up with some more things here. Wi-Fi wi SSID, again, and then your Wi-Fi pass key. And then uh, the connect devices. We're not going to be worried about this first page. We're going to be going down where it says advanced. So in advanced, you're going to go to port 40. And I've already made this. I'm going to just delete this for now because, really, why would I not delete it? Because it would just be confusing for you guys. First of all, it's going to be like this by default. Enable this. And then port 40 and add a service. Now it's going to take you a page for a load here. <laughs> well, jeez. Oh, there we are. Okay, so. Common service. Uh, leave it as other service name. Let's just call it unturned because that's just for convenience service type. Leave it as TCP and UDP. Now, um, for your server IPv4 address, you're going to go down and f uh, back in your command prompt. Let's just go there now. So here, back in your command prompt, what you're looking for is under the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi again, your IPv4 address and your IPv6 address. It's going to be the IPv6 address that is a lot longer. There's going to be eight sections separated by uh, colons. Um, so half of it will be put in, in here, you'll see in a second, but your IPv4 address, you need to put this IPv4 address where it says IPv4 address, obviously, and then you need to refill uh, whatever the IPv6 address is into the port forwarding section of in here so I have put in my IPv4 address and IPv6 address and so make sure you put that in correctly you can just like copy and paste it for your command prompt prompt and so the start port we're gonna be saying this is 27015 because that's what most servers run on these days and that's also what unturn runs on so 27015 and now the th weird thing about Unturn 3.0 is it runs every port, two ports above whatever you set your start port to. So 2715, 017, 016, and 017. So for just in case we can set it to 27018. Uh, um, and then uh, that's basically it. Click save and it should pop up with something shortly. 
and it looks like it did it. So if we go back and do edit here, we can try to see what we did wrong. Uh, you know, I might have typed in my uh, stuff wrong. So make sure you check all your spelling and check everything, and then you can actually save it, and it will pop up with some information. And there we go. I've put in the correct uh, IP port and all that stuff. It's going to be blocked out for you uh, for the IPv4 and IPv6. This is your personal information again. Make sure your type is on TCP and UDP. Sorry, I didn't say that earlier. It's going to be there by default, but that's what the uh, types uh, of unturned is run on. So next, we have to allow connections through these ports. And so we have to go to our firewall and like add some new rules and stuff. So it might get a little bit complicated. So we're going to start off by going down to your search bar and typing in control panel. We're just going to type automatically, whatever. Anyways, go to control panel um, and then type in up here firewall or just put in fire. Windows Defender Firewall, click on that. And then go down on the left side to advanced settings. Might take a little bit. There we go. Now these are a bunch of stuff that uh, you can uh, have advanced security with your firewall. So now we're going to go to inbound rules. And I'm going to currently delete my rules that I have for this. But I'm going to show you how you can make them. Now that that's done, you won't be confused by anything. So here you can have all... You, s you can see all of your uh, firewall exceptions for every single game that you have. And so if we scroll down all the way to unturned, there will be a few of them. Here we are, unturned, there is currently four of them. So if we, uh, put this full screen here. So unturned, right here, um, as you can see, this is TCP, and the one above it is UDP. And so we need to make a rule for both of these so we can allow those ports to connect to our unturned server. And if this is not checked, it should be by default. Make sure to check this. Um, I don't really know how to do it. Just make sure it's turned on so unturned is safe. So first, we're gonna go up here to where it says inbound rules. Hit new rule, and we're going to make two rules, one for TCP and one for UDP. So, um, what would you like to create a port uh, connections uh, for TPC or UDP? Next, uh, first one we'll do TCP. It really doesn't matter. Let's just do TCP first because you're following along. Um, specific ports. So, this is how you type in a port. So, first one was 27015, comma space, 27016, 27017. And 27018. It has to include everything between 27015 and 27018, just like that. You can copy this, and uh, so this makes typing easier because you're going to do this a few more times. And now click next. Always allow the connection. Next, make sure all these boxes are checked. Next, name. This one was unturned TCP, and then finish. If we hit this twice, as you can see, it pops up here, it refreshes, and we have unturned TCP. Sorry. And now we can go back up, make another rule. This will be for UDP. So again, click port, next, UDP this time, specific ports, paste in what you uh, copied earlier, next, always load the connection, next, all these boxes are checked, next, name, unturned UDP. There doesn't need to be a description. Uh, that doesn't really affect anything. Finish. Let's refresh it again. And we do one more thing in here is right click the TCP. Actually, yeah. Wait. You right click it, go into properties, protocols and ports. You want to go to there. And then protocol type. This is TCP as you can see. And then protocol number. Just that no, you can't change that. Uh, local port. You want to set the remote port here to specific ports and paste in that exact same, those exact same ports. Uh, you can just copy it from this one actually. Hit apply and OK. Now we're going to do the same thing for UDP. Right click it, go to properties, go to protocols and ports, and paste in, uh, no, go to specific ports or remote port, then paste in those ports again, apply and OK. And now you're done. Well, basically, so the thing is, um, you can start up any old server that you've ever made. I'm not going to be going over how to actually set up a server in this video because I actually am going to be leaving, like you heard in the beginning of this video. Um, so I won't be here the rest of the weekend, so I, I don't, I'm on a time limit here. And so I'll show you that in another video. If You probably know how to. If you don't, just go look at a video on how to set up your own server. It's very, very simple once you get into it. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. So anyways, yeah, you're basically done. So now I'm going to be showing you how to um, how you can connect to your own server and how your friends can connect to your own server. And I will prove that people can connect to your own server. 
So once you're in Unturned, <laughs> you can go to Play and Connect. And so in here for the IP, if you're hosting the server, and since you probably are, you're watching this video, uh, type in localhost. Make sure you have obviously the server running too. Uh, type in localhost, and for the port, whatever port you set it to, you should have set it to 2715, just because. And then your password, mine is. <laughs> there we go. And then <laughs> type in your password, tell your friends your IP. So if you want to find your IP, you cannot actually use your default gateway or your like IPv4 address. You need to go on a website such as ipchicken.com and whatsmyip.com. I'll leave both of those links in the description down below. Go to both of those or just whatever, whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter at all. Um, and tell those, uh, copy those ports and paste them in like Discord or whatever, however you're going to get to your friend. Just make sure your friend knows your IP and your port. That's where you find your IP. It's not that simple um, as your IPv4 address. So anyways, you can connect your server and I'll show you that actually people can connect to it by uh, connecting to a friend. That's uh, across the world, and as you can see, he is here. Dovahkiin. Hello. The Dovahkiin will live. Don't kill me. Long live Dovahkiin. See, it's laggy. <laughs> that was so sad. Anyways, uh, yeah, you can connect players easily, as you can see. Just make sure you give them your IP, which you can find on ipchicken.com. Or just like what's my IP.com. Make sure you give them the port and the password to server. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.